Okay, so we're looking at trig equations here, and I've drawn three graphs. First one is y equals sine x, change color. Second one, y equals cosine of x. And third one in green, uh, y equals tan of x. Now I've drawn those because if you, oh, that's a really bad x, um, because if you can remember the shapes of those, right, it gives you a clue as to how many solutions you have or are looking for. Now, most of the time, you're going to get more than one solution. Okay, so when I rearrange this, okay, your calculator will give you one solution. So I'm going to rearrange this to make cosine the subject, and I get minus two fifths, and therefore theta is inverse cosine of minus two fifths, which when you stick it in your calculator gives you uh, 113.6. Okay, so that is, if I draw a line about minus 0 0.4, like this. All right, so on my graph, it's given me four intersections, but actually I'm only interested really in this bit. And the reason I'm only interested in this bit is because it says from 0 to 360. So I'm actually looking at this. Now they've already given me that answer. I need that answer. And I'm 113.6 along from zero, and I'm the same distance along from uh, back from 360. So all I've got to do is 360 minus that, uh, 113.6, which gives me 2, so, and 246.4. Uh, Oops, what have I done? A, I did a, uh, a decimal point there, 6.4. Okay, so I've got two solutions for that because I've cut it two places there and there. Now the next one, just get my green pen out. If I asked you to do this, uh, plus n minus two equals zero, you could factorize that nice and easily. You get n uh, plus two, n minus one. And all the n is doing is representing the tan thetas here. All right, so actually what I've got when I factorize that is this, and tan theta, uh, minus 1 equals 0. Now that means that tan theta is negative 2 and tan theta equals 1. Okay, so tan theta equals negative 2. I've got a line down here, haven't I? And tan theta equals 1. I've got a line here. And I need to look in the box let me get my yellow pen, right, between minus 180 and 180. So that is going to be uh, here, from here to, uh, where's 180? It's not the best box I've ever drawn, but there you go. So I'm looking for all those solutions in there, okay? And that means, in fact, that box should be, that I should get uh, for this one, uh, for minus 2, I should get, I've got to change my colour pen, uh, minus 63, so theta equals, oops, minus 63.4, and uh, what was that, 116.6. And for tan equals 1, uh, tan theta equals 1, sorry, I should have minus 135 and 45. Okay, so I've got four solutions for that, okay? And using the graphs actually makes it a lot easier to know that I've got to go find four solutions, all right? You don't have to use them. You can draw a sketch of them, whatever. It doesn't need to be accurate. It's just for your benefit so that you know you've got every single solution because where people lose marks on this is by not writing down every single solution. All right, enjoy.